up on the uplift, a home run we can all cheer for. See how one baseball team made dreams come true for a boy bravely battling cancer. Then it's something that has never been done before. See the feat one Minnesotan is making his mission to complete. And a pair of sisters are going above and beyond to send their brother to college. The sweet gesture showing how strong a sibling's love can be. Welcome to The Uplift. In this new digital series, we are going to be sharing some of our favorite stories. We are sure we'll put a smile on your face. It's our goal to uplift your spirits for at least the next 30 minutes and hopefully for a lot longer. I'm Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Thank you for being with us. We are getting started today with a couple of stories from a baseball field. In the San Diego Padres and Arizona Diamondbacks game, one man has a very rare opportunity and it just slipped right through his hands. Check this out. A foul ball is hit directly to this fan, only he couldn't quite make the catch. It bounced right out of his grip and back into the field. If his ego wasn't already hurt enough by that drop, the other fans made sure he knew how big of a mistake he had made. It was all in good fun, though. The fan took it in stride, and he will at least have some kind of memory to take from this game. And how about this story from a Chicago White Sox game? The team pulled out all the stops for a very special boy. This is seven-year-old Bo Dally. He was diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma as a toddler. He battled his way through stem cell transplants and several rounds of chemo. After beating the disease, he was diagnosed again, this time with thyroid cancer. To honor his brave fight, the White Sox treated the courageous kid to an unforgettable experience. It included a pregame home run for life, a custom White Sox jersey, autographs, and a chance to throw out the first pitch. Bo's family was also presented with a $10,000 check. It was an incredibly special day for a deserving kid that I am sure will never be forgotten. One Minnesota man is taking a shot at history. Mike Shoreman is attempting to paddleboard across all five of the Great Lakes. His motivation? To prove his disability will not keep him from his goals. Our Ren Clayton has the story. When Mike Shorman was diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome in 2018, his heart sank. After I received the diagnosis, um, I, I stood in an ENT doctor's office with my dad, and I remember like I just had tears streaming down my face, and he said, your paddleboarding's done, you're never going to paddleboard again. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is a neurological condition that can cause permanent damage to one's vision, hearing, and muscles. For Shorman, the disease also affected the one thing he used every time he stepped onto a pedalboard, his balance. For me, when I turn my head from side to side or up and down, um, I get very dizzy. It's like a carousel inside my head. Um, and in the initial stages, when I was walking, I couldn't even walk in a straight line. I but Shorman was determined to not only paddleboard again, but become the first person with a disability to do it across all five of the Great Lakes. And, and I thought, okay, well, we can, we can set out to do these crossings. I just have to make sure that I'm strong enough to be able to do five back-to-back -back all in one summer. After months of training, Shorman started his journey on Lake Erie. On May 29th, becoming the first person with a disability to accomplish the feat. An inspiring moment, but Shorman still had four other lakes to go. And then 10 days later, I set out to do Lake Huron, and it took me 28 hours and 22 minutes, um, which was brutal. All right, there he is, the night paddle. Now, Shorman will take on Lake Superior, a task he and his team are prepared for. We've got first aid trainers on the boat. We've got um, people who who know what my nutrition and my what my diet's going to be like. It's all part of a monumental journey, one he hopes can inspire people far beyond the Great Lakes. People with disabilities are capable of achieving things when people believe in them, and I hope it inspires kids to dream big. Ren Clayton, WCCO 4 News. Two Robbinsdale sisters are parting with their collection of toys and dolls to help 
raise money to send their brother to college. It's a big sacrifice to help their sibling live his dream of attending a historically black college to pursue his degree. WCCO's Reg Chapman has this beautiful story. Hi, welcome. Under the blue tent off 36th Avenue in Robbinsdale are two young ladies on a mission. Our brother, he needs to go to college down in Louisiana, and it's, 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 it's really expensive. Really, it's more expensive than you would think. Stephanie and Deja Lewis gave up all that's important to them. And come over here, we got movies. We got the new ones, Free Guy, Turning Red, Big Hero 6, Wrong Gone Wrong. To sell so they can raise money to help send Big Brother Ty to college. I know what we can do. We can have a garage sale. And then she's like, well, we can do a lemonade stand too. So now we're just doing both to earn some extra money to kind of get him there. We just took everything. We were like, he has to go to college. We got to do it. Ty graduated from Robbinsdale Cooper High School and has been accepted to study computer science at Xavier University in Louisiana. It was the best option I had. It's one of the best HBCUs out there, so I decided to go there. His biggest concern, paying for it all. He's grateful for help from his little sisters. It's a good feeling to know that they care. I mean, that's like the main thing. People stopping by happy to support the cause. I'm really proud. He, he graduated high school. He got through all his grades. I know I have to help my brother so he can go to college and he can live his dream as he wants to. No one is more proud of what's going on than mom and grandma. Kids, you know, go back and forth, you know, and argue and mess with each other, but they always have looked up to, you know, their older brother. And so they've always just been really sweet girls that always, you know, wanted to help. Proving the bond between brothers and sisters is strong. In Robbinsdale, with photojournalist Chris Cruz, Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. When we come back, a family is scammed out of tens of thousands of dollars. What one stranger did to remind them that good people do still exist.